Okay, had a tough, hard-fought victory uh, last Saturday. Real proud of our, our team, the way they responded. We faced a lot of adversity. Uh, real proud of our, our coaches to get a victory there. Um, on to this week, obviously it's a big week. One of our rivals uh, playing at their place. We hadn't had a lot of success uh, over there as of late. we got to solve that. Uh, they're a very talented team. Uh, they're always talented, and uh, they play well at home. So we've got uh, to play well. Our guys understand that, and uh, our guys will be ready to go. Question? What's Sean's status for this week? Uh, he'll start. Uh, we're hoping that uh, to get him on the practice field uh, today or tomorrow. I mean, he's he's uh, he's he's done well so far. Um, you know, he's kind of a quick uh, healer. Uh, I'll know more later in the week, but he is planning on practicing. Is he, can you tell us what is required? Yeah, it's a leg injury. Yeah. What about uh? Defensively, obviously, you get Deshaun back, but Trey Williams is he the guy you're expecting? Yeah, yeah, Trey Williams will be back. Uh, obviously, we get Deshaun back, that'll help. And of course, you know, those guys are kind of our quarterbacks. And, uh, you know, hats off to the, the linebackers that took their place the other day. You know, that was really impressive uh, what they did, um, you know, quarterback and the whole deal. But yeah, we'll, we should have everybody back ready to go defensively. Is Sean, I mean, what percentage would you put on his health? You know, he's, he's not 100%, or we would have started him last week, but he went in there, did a solid job. Uh, he'll be better this week than he was last week. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes in practice. You know, like I said last week, he didn't take any practice reps. Uh, he did warm up uh, on Thursday just to see what he could do, but he didn't take any yeah, practice reps. He'll practice this week. Is that a shoulder? Yeah, it's an injury. What about Tony Stevens? Tony's, Tony's back. Uh, Tony's ready to go. Coach, depending on Cutway's uh, health and status for Saturday, how do you feel about the rest of the personnel being able to run between the tackles? Yeah, uh, I feel pretty good about that. You know, if you look at, uh, you know, we didn't have Petway one game, and, you know, uh, KJ's done a super job. Uh, Sam Truitt has done a very good job running between the tackles when we've asked him to. Uh, you know, so we feel good. We feel good about what we have. Uh, we're not ruling out Petway yet. I mean, we're – wouldn't be surprised if, if, uh, if he plays. Uh, but at the same time, we've got other guys that will be ready to go. We've got a lot of confidence in those guys. Considering Brett Chandler at tailback some in spring, early camp this year, would you consider doing more of that? Yeah, that's a possibility too. You know, he's a, he's a good runner. Uh, he ran very well in the spring. Came out of the spring probably as, as good a runner as anybody we had. So we'll see. Yes, yeah, you talked about learning things about this team. What did you learn from your team from Saturday? Well, they, uh, they can handle adversity. Uh, they showed a lot of guts, a lot of courage. Um, you know, any time this year and you're playing well, you're going to be the target of everyone. You can get their best. We got we got Bandy's best. Um, they had a week off. They played extremely hard. We, we had the feeling at home. Um, you know, we were down at halftime at home when we were expected to win. And when you have that feeling, you can overcome it. I mean, I think that does nothing but, but help your team. But we're very proud of the – the courage they showed, the guts they showed, the toughness, uh, even special things. We had a lot of new faces out there. We had a lot of people go down that weren't there, or, or you know, and it was it was a really good team win that that I know that'll help us, you know, uh, in the future. Because you, you alerted everyone at the beginning of the year that this defensive line could be one of the best in the country, if not the best. How is that? How is it aligned with those expectations? Well, I mean, I think they played well all year, you know. Now we've got some young guys starting to step up to help us with depth. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been a good year up front. We've got to continue to build upon that thing, and this week's no different. I mean, we've got to play well up front, and, but we've done that every game so far. The nature of Sean's injury, guys, have to do a pitch count in practice? Or well, we're, we're going to be smart with him. Uh, he will practice this week, but we're going to be smart with him. He's a tough guy. He's a real tough guy. And, you know, he showed a lot of guts and a lot of courage last week. How yeah, I mean, is it about a guy like him that seemingly makes everybody? Yeah. Even the defense seems, seems better. Sometimes. Yeah, you, you, you've seen it before. I mean, sometimes quarterbacks have that effect that uh, they just, you know, you put him out there on the field in the second half, and it was just like a, a new energy on the sideline. And uh, we got back in our groove and our flow, and uh, that 
says a lot about uh, you know, your quarterback being a leader of the team, which if you have a good team, your quarterback's usually one of your leaders. And, you know, our, you know, his teammates have a lot of respect for him. Uh, his coaches do too. And, you know, that, that'll help him moving forward too. You know, I, I had to feel good for him too. Yes, can you talk about the wide receiver block and just exceptional against mm -hmm. Arkansas? Didn't look yeah, you know, we just we got a bunch of freshmen and redshirt freshmen out there, and they're still learning. They're playing hard. Uh, we're making a few mistakes, um, but you know they're going to play hard. They're going to play their guts out, and so we just got to keep working, and, and we'll do that in practice. And they did some good things blocking too. Now, I mean, there was, there was some good ones that uh, resulted in some some pretty good runs too. So uh, you know, we're just we're young. We just got to keep improving. Very big picture kind of question here, but after after the uh, the so-so start of the season, what what do you credit most? Uh, what things do you credit most for being where you are? You, you know, it's our leadership of our players. I mean, that that's really where it starts. Um, went through a little bit of a storm early. You know, coaches are used to dealing with that. They're more mature and all that. But the leadership of our team, they never budged. Uh, they didn't listen to any kind of negativity and. They just kept working. We never, we never had a bad practice. We never had a practice where you feel, oh no, you know. It just, but it, it's our players, uh, it's our leadership. They deserve the credit. Coach, when you go look at Jacob Beeson, um, I think everybody has had really high expectations for him the minute he showed up at Georgia. Just what have you seen from him in film this week? That shows you that he's getting better every week. And yeah, you know, I think it's like anything else. You, any, anytime you have experience of something. <laughs> And big games and everything that goes with it. The more comfortable you get, <coughs> now he's he's at the end of the year. And he's played a lot of snaps, and you can tell he's more comfortable. Do you treat him maybe different than you would at some other freshman quarterbacks just based off of his ability? You know, each each game and each quarterback's different. You have a specific plan of how to attack. You know, and they're all different. So, you know, we'll we'll have a plan. Yeah, there's carryover. There's no doubt. I mean, it, it's his defense. Uh, there's carryover. Uh, they have a lot of talented players, and they had a lot of talented players where he was at before. So he's used to coaching talented players. Does it help you at all by having the familiarity with what he's? Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, we know each other very well. Have a lot of history. Um, we, we've been against each other a lot. What's it mean for the? You know, it, it probably means a lot that the ones that are from Georgia, and there is quite a few. Uh, but it's a big game every year. I mean, it's this is one of our rival games. I mean, so whether you're from there or not from there, it's 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 always going to be big. You know, if you play here at Auburn. How is how is Josh Holsey? I know he's had a couple big plays the last two weeks, but how has he played this year? Yeah, been? Josh has had his best best year, I believe. I mean, just stability. Uh, leadership. He's a quarterback on the back end. Um, he has the ability to make a play when a team needs it. You've seen that two weeks in a row uh, in the fourth quarter of games that were yet to be decided. He made the, the, the play of the game. So, you know, that says a lot about him. And uh, he's playing at a very high level right now. I know you see a lot of the beast, justness, and great cornerbacks there, but Josh is putting himself statistically in the conversation for all SEC, possibly all American. You know, I, I think I think the way he's played uh, this year uh, really speaks for itself. I mean, he's a uh, he's an outstanding player, and he definitely deserves to be in the conversation. Montrevious entering the season was going to be a big player for you, but how much have you seen him grow just this year alone? Yeah, he's a different player this year. Now he was a really good player before, but he's really raised his level and. Uh, uh, you know, he's uh, he's becoming a man. I mean, he's growing up. He's more mature. Uh, his approach to practice, approach to games, and he's one of our best players. He's an impact player. You talked about the importance of having Sean and Trey back this week against the team. Yeah, yeah that, that's, I think that's really big. Uh, both those guys are playing at an extremely high level. Um, they're both like coaches on the field. They quarterback the defense uh, when they're on the field together. It's a good thing. What does switch kind of flip on Travis? I know he struggled a little bit early on in his career at all, but when did he kind of start figuring things 
Yeah, you know, I think it's been a process. You know, after his freshman year, I think you can see him just every year just gradually, you know, mature and get used to college football and everything that goes with it. And But this year has been like, you know, it's it's really been impressive to watch. Have you talked to your players about voting today? Uh, I have not. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I will. Coach, we had heard that uh, Marlon Davidson was, was a little banged up kind of before the Vanderbilt mm -hmm. game, and, and that's why Derek Brown got kicked outside a little bit. Do you suspect he'll be fully ready to go? Yeah, yeah, he, he was banged up, um, and he did a good job of coming in and doing a good job. And, you know, Derek Brown's a guy that can play outside or inside, and thought he did some really good things, you know, last week uh, on the outside, too. Coach, you dealt with injuries at quarterback before you dealt with How much does a particular shoulder injury to a quarterback you know, affect game planning, affect strategy, or what they can physically yeah. are capable of doing? Yeah, I, I think it. Anytime you have an injury, it affects you know how you approach um, not only game plan but how you approach practice. And you know, every injury is different, though. You know, and you just you know, but but it definitely affects you. So last week in the second half, you shot it. Sean's only 20 yard pass was the was the touchdown. Everything else was shorter. Was that in large part due to the injury? Uh, not necessarily. Not, not necessarily. It was. I mean, he threw a really good ball on that 20 yarder, but it was really on the other side of the field too. So it was probably a close to a, probably a 35, 40 yarder. When you guys look at video of Georgia on offense and defense, what kind of talent do you see? Yeah, they're talented. I mean, they're they're always going to be one of the top 10 teams that recruit. And they're one of the top ten teams talent. So they're always going to be talented. I'm marrying the, the Georgia question with the defensive line question earlier. There are so many of, of these linemen you were able to rotate or not are from Georgia. What's been the success that we've had specifically in the trenches of getting guys? Uh, what do you credit that to, getting guys out of the Well, I mean, I credit uh, Auburn being a special place and a great school. Um, you know, Rodney Garner having Georgia ties. Um, you know, just, um, you know, traditionally, we've always uh, recruited well in Georgia. That's a big, it's a big state, you know, for our success. Anything else? Yes, you said uh, Saturday after the game, it's just becoming more and more difficult to coach up the, uh, you know, the targeting rule and all those things. That's kind of Sean's projection. Is that what you feel like after this year you might bring up again in meetings about what are we going to do about this? You know, I don't, I don't know about that. I think that's probably <laughs> – you know, around the, the country, you know, that's player safety is the number one thing. And everybody needs to be on the same page with that. And I am too. It's just a matter of just, you know, you know, what is and what isn't. Uh, you know, we obviously focus on staying away from the head and, and all that. But, you know, we'll, we'll, I don't know what will happen in the offseason, but I know that's, you know, around the country, that's always a, a big, big discussion.